Well, I figure that maybe we ask critical about his past. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> in, a, in a good way. In a good way. Are you uh, gonna do my therapist? Yeah. Let's bring up old tweets. Have you ever been I diddled, Charlie? To... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know, like, uh, how old were you when you like started doing YouTube, and and what content did like you first start to make? I was 11, and I used to steal videos from a softcore porn website called That Video Site. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. That Video Site? So yep. you re-uploaded them to YouTube? Not the softcore porn, the stuff that wasn't porn. I just re-uploaded their other content to YouTube. What kind of other content did they have? Uh, they had, like, wrestling, some paintball shit. <laughs> uh, wrestling, huh? I don't remember what else. Wrestling. It was just, like, old... Wrestling... Not not even like the softcore porn wrestling, just like backyard shit ass wrestling that kids or <sighs> young adults would upload. I'd just take it and put it on my channel. Right. What? what why would you? Uh, what made you start doing that? Was it like, oh, that's a cool video. I want to save that on my channel, or is it like, oh, I want to try to get some views off this wrestling? Yeah. I like, think, what was the motivation? I think the idea was trying to just like fill YouTube with as much shit as possible. Like if I could take all of that content from that video site and maybe it'd go viral on YouTube, I could be that conduit. I, I right. don't remember my exact motivation, but I went from that to re-uploading Cartoon Network shit, so I flew way too close to the sun because that got yeah. me fucked. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> it was getting like what, your channel right strike lines? down? Oh, yeah, this was back in 2006. I don't, the channel's Holy name shit. was like Football Playa 4404. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much were you re-uploading to get struck down back in like 06? Oh that my was when God. it was like free reign to do everything. Hundreds. Hundreds. I had Jesus. so much soft. I had so much fucking actually software. actually competing with Cartoon Network at the time. I'm like, who is this kid? Like, what? Yeah. He's, he's, he's got his own network. He's from on Nickelodeon? YouTube. He's trying to tear us down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my shit looked like some kind of old 80s. No, I DC'd on you. My shit looked like some kind of oh. old '80s hacker setup. Like I had so many fucking programs running at all times, downloading videos just to re-upload them. It was wild. Holy shit! No way. Yeah. So, did you spend a lot of time hunting the internet, scouring the internet for just strange, peculiar videos? Was it kind of like a hobby at the time? Or, Fuck no! Or I didn't even it? like watch half of them. I was like, "Is this porn?" No. All right, it's going up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's fucking wow. crazy. Well, when did you start making content that was like your own? That was in 2007 with Gears of War. I made oh, montages. Wow. Yeah. So why you Jet were around 12 glitch. years old doing that? Yep. I was That's 12 when crazy. I started montages. Damn. And they're all still up there. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at your oldest videos now. Oh, they're still there? Gears of War jetpack glitch. No standby or lag switch, AP. Yeah. It's a very red video. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's about four pixels. Yep. It's good to see. It's a classic. I wish I had my older shit. I had I had like a thousand videos on the channel that I removed just because I used a bunch of music. But I wish I had kept, mm. kept some of that shit. There were some real wild ones on there. All the good old yeah. Halo 3 yeah. Hayabusa skull tutorials. Oh, that's some OG shit. Oh, that shit. Is, I taught the world how to get that. I, I could have been the first one with that armor. I swear to God. It's, so, it's fucking amazing, dude. So how long have you been uploading every day for? Mm, I think since I got out of college, so since 2016. Yeah, mm. that's wild. Uh, have you, I mean, I presume you've missed a day here and there, right? Sure. Oh, for sure. No. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, yeah. I'm sure at some point. Yeah. I don't treat awesome. it like a job or anything. I just upload when I'm yeah. around and think about it. Um, how, what's your kind of perception of the YouTube community as a whole and how it's changed over the years? You know, being that you've been sort of a part of it for so long. Well, that's like a deep question. I thought we could talk about some penis and shit, but uh, I guess... <laughs> I mean, we could go <laughs> back to throw some deep ones in. I, I think, like, the biggest change is now everything's so highly corporate and, like, you yeah. know, formulaic. And, mm. Which isn't necessarily yeah. a bad thing. But that's the biggest change from, like, the wild, wild west of YouTube where you had all kinds of shit coming on and now everything's kind of dialed down and mm. sticks in its own little formula that you're used to seeing all the thumbnails have like you know some goofy shocked faces caps lock titles yeah. stuff like that mm. i mean there is still quite a lot of authentic oh for genuine sure creative content on youtube but even the more creative stuff i think is still it's still being manipulated by the fact that you know like to get views you need to follow a certain set of rules right mm -hmm. uh so you still have to kind of have the eye grabbing thumbnail the eye grab you know the title and then you know, your video can kind of be whatever you want it to be. But yeah, I know what you mean. It's very interesting to see how like, 
I don't know. It feels like there's a formula you can follow to a T, and if you work hard enough, then you just will be a millionaire just by being a YouTuber. You know, obviously, you need a little bit of luck to get that audience going, but if you just follow like a certain particular set of rules, then you can end up making a lot of money on this platform. And it's no surprise that so many people have started doing that.